the grass withers and the flower fades, but your word is eternal. If I were you, I would make sure I'm here the whole of February. Because motor church in Japan's up. See, I, I, I told you, it's not about the number of people in the church. It's about the quality of the person. Quality, quality, quality. You can get the whole crowd with five cars, five tired cars outside. But that is not your portion. This month, <laughs> if I be a man of God, Numbers 23 verse 19, God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent or recant. Has he said it and will not do it? Or has he spoken and will not make it good? Behold, I have received a command to bless this February. He has blessed and no witch can reverse it. Lift up your right hand. Father, we thank you this morning. We know that the grass withers and the flower fades, but your word is eternal. Send your word this morning. Speak through me. Let your power, your glory be made available in this place. Give me unction to function. Give me the anointing that makes teaching and preaching easy. I pray, Father, for understanding. Let your children understand the words that will come out of my mouth. Have your way in this place. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Touch every man, every woman, every boy, and every girl. Even as I speak under the anointing, let lives be changed. Let miracles, signs, and wonders happen. Lord God, I thank you even for the testimonies we are hearing so far. Have your way this morning. I thank you, Father, that the power of the blessing will be released upon your people. In Jesus' name, somebody who loves God, say amen. amen. Praise God. You may be seated. Somebody say with me, the power of the blessing. Hallelujah. I'm really excited about this message because this message is going to usher you to your long overdue level. I'm really talking to people who are saying amen. amen. I need to bring your uh, prayerful attention to the book of Deuteronomy chapter number 29. Deuteronomy 29. Something must happen. We preach for results, not for popularity. I'm not up for elections. I have been divinely elected and selected into office and I'm not coming out. I don't wait for five years. I am here. In five years, I'll still be here. Hallelujah. Is somebody ready? Are you ready? Why do I talk about these things? You know, why do I talk about financial empowerment? Why do I talk about financial blessing? Why do I talk about all those things? Um, and you can't argue that I don't talk about other things. I think the desk there is proof positive. I talk about many other things. But I talk about what God wants to do in that season. And what I speak must come to pass in your life. Somebody says, you know, I don't need money. You are a liar. Because God said in Matthew 6, I think verse 32, he was talking about things and your heavenly father knows that you need them. Go and read it. Your heavenly father knows that you need these things. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, you need these good things. You need these good things. Amen. If I don't talk about it, you'll never have faith for it. If you never have faith for it, you'll never receive it. I hope you got what I'm saying. So I must talk about it because faith cometh by 
and hearing by the word of God. That's Romans 10 verse 17. But watch this. Look at Deuteronomy 29. I want to show you a powerful scripture. He says in verse 29, The secret things belong to the Lord our God, but the things which are revealed belong to us and our children forever. Do you see that? So if I don't speak about the blessed life, it just still belongs to God. But when I open up the scriptures and begin to reveal these things to you, now you have access to them and they now belong to you. Your tired car must be for sale. I said your tired car must be up for sale. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. yeah, because you cannot be praying and fasting with Motka Rimuke. The devil is a liar. I said your tired car must be up for sale. Yeah. I'm telling you that car is somebody else's miracle but not your miracle. Your tired car must go. We need to see something new in the driving, in the driving lot. <laughs> there are some people who are looking at me funny. I think they are new church members. I said your tired car must be up for sale. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your shoes are not transport. Your shoes are not transport. The devil is a liar. It's time for new levels. I must talk about it. I must provoke the poverty in you to go out. Hallelujah. I'm going to command some dangerous things today and they must come to pass in your life. Many of you are coming out of debt. I said many of you are coming out of debt. You are coming out of debt. You are coming out. I said you are coming out. I release that debt cancelling anointing upon your life. May the God of grace truly visit you. May your life be proof positive that God is visiting you. This monitor is not working properly. May the God of grace come upon your life. May you see his hand. May you see his strong hand upon your life. May you see a strong grace upon your life. May you enter another realm of grace in this season. In the name of Jesus, may the power of the blessing be, be made manifest in your life. May it be visible that truly you are walking under the umbrella of the blessing. May everything about you speak blessing. May your business speak blessing. May your marriage speak blessing. May your lifestyle speak blessing. I decree you are divinely exempted from poverty from today. I speak it under the anointing. I decree it under the anointing in the name of Jesus. Hey, it must come to pass in your life. In the name of Jesus, every hardship following your family, you are exempted. You are exempted. You are exempted. While others are going down, you are going up. I said you are going up. I have been commanded to speak these things by the Holy Ghost. So I must speak them in your life and they must come to pass. They must be your portion. You can sit there like a nanga and look at me all you like. But I'm talking to somebody who's receiving what I'm saying. Your lifestyle is changing. I'm telling you, I speak under the anointing. I command a change of lifestyle. I command a change of fortune. I command a change of lifestyle. I command a change of fortune. I command a change of level upon your life. Hey, 300, the devil is a liar. You are graduating to new dimensions. You are shifting to new levels. I decree every pending deal. Ripper almost. I push it over by the anointing. I push it over by the anointing. I push it over by the anointing. In the name of Jesus. See, some people think I'm playing here. On Tuesday, I gave an instruction and I said, I want people to, who, want, who want breakthroughs to bring a seed of $100. Huh? There are people who came, brought their $100. One of my sons here, he brought $100. I laid hands on him. In 48 hours, he had won four tenders, amounting to almost half a million. Four. They came to see him by themselves. They came to visit him with the tender documents. They said, we have approved you. And you are just sitting there. You think I'm just speaking. You think I'm an entertainer. <laughs> my, my mandate is to change lives. Hallelujah. I, listen, I was, I was saying to people last night, I've got the healing anointing. I can pray for you, you can be healed. I prayed for HIV, it has been healed. Cancer has been healed. Blind eyes have been healed. Deaf ears have been opened. I've proved it, I can do it. But you are not sick, you are not blind, you are not deaf. You need money. So I speak money into your life. I speak it into your life. Money has ears. 
I call it from the east, the west, the north, the south. I call your money. Your outstanding money, I call it. I call it in the name of Jesus. Your outstanding contract, I call it into being. In the name of Jesus, I summon the heart of your boss. And I push it towards you. Proverbs 21 verse 1. The hearts of kings are in the hand of the Lord. He turns them whichever way he pleases. I turn them in your favor. I said I turn them in your favor. In the name of Jesus. You may be seated. I was just clearing my throat. Something must happen. This year, something must happen in your life. I don't care much you look at the same hairstyle. Something must happen. You cannot keep staying in the same address in the name of consistency. Something must happen in your life. I command a change of address. I command a change of address. I command a change of address. Me possesse Zuta Zabudiri and no Sunga. Right now, I put them under divine arrest. In the name of Jesus, every satanic tracking device that has been placed upon you, monitoring your progress, today I arrest those devices. In the name of Jesus, I destroy them. In the name of Jesus, I dismiss every satanic agent around your life that is there to monitor your progress and give report to the kingdom of darkness. I dismiss them today. In the name of Jesus, hey, something must happen this year. We cannot have another year like last year. No ways, the devil is a liar. I said the devil is a liar. Every business enterprise that you have shut down, you are opening up three. For every business enterprise the devil has shut down, you are opening up three. I decree that upon your life. I command you to enter a new realm of favor. A new realm of favor. Let me tell you, from today you'll be treated well. I said from today you'll be treated well. You will be treated well. May people embrace you. May they embrace you. May they want to show you favor. I speak Psalm 45 upon your life. In the name of Jesus, may kings desire to bless you. May kings go out of their way to bless you. In the name of Jesus, I command golden connections upon your life. May God connect you to the right people. May he connect you to the people that are linked to your destiny. Hey, I speak it upon your life. We are not here to play today. We are here to seek divine connections. May God supernaturally connect you by his grace you are connected you are connected you are connected from today in the name of jesus i disconnect you from the curse and i connect you to the blessing in the name of jesus every curse from your father's house it expires today it expires today it expires today it expires today God is calling you into a life of blessing, into a life of abundance, into a life of increase, into a life of dominion. Today I call you out of darkness into the marvelous light. I call you out of Lodiba into the palace. I call you out of poverty into prosperity. I call you out of lack into abundance. I call you today. I summon you to come out. In the name of Jesus, you have to come out. You have to come out. I said you have to come out stop stressing about your problems the anointing to deliver you is here the grace to pull you out is here i'm here under the anointing to pull you out of the pit to pull you out of the pit i am pulling you out today in the name of jesus today i decree you will not sink you will not sink there's no one under this ministry that will sink every obedient church member under this ministry you will not sink while others are fainting and drying up you will not dry up in the name of jesus i speak malachi chapter 4 in the positive upon your life you will grow up and grow fat in the name of jesus while others are bending up and bending down you will grow up and you will grow fat i release that upon your life i command a change of address you are shifting into a land filled with milk and honey may god give you the real estate that he promised you in the name of jesus every deal which is locked by satanic hands i unlock it today i unlock i unlock i unlock i unlock i unlock by the anointing i use the key which is called the sword of the spirit the word of god i unlock those deals in the name of jesus 
We want to talk about multi-millions in this church. We are tired of talking about Yama 50,000. The devil is a liar. I unlock every big deal. I unlock every big contract. In the name of Jesus. Today we dispossess those things from the devil. Having disappointment. After disappointment. After disappointment. The devil is a liar. Today by the anointing. I release the big contracts. I release the big deals. I release the big houses. I release the big pieces of land i release the big project i command you to go international i call international deals i call them i call them i call them international contracts in the name of jesus i decree it upon your life god is not a man that he should lie neither is he the son of man that he should repent has he said it and will not do it has he spoken and will not cause it to come to pass it must come to pass in your life it doesn't matter the disappointment appointment it doesn't matter the distress the bible says forgetting those things which are behind looking to those things which are ahead i'm looking forward to 2014 i'm looking forward to the month of april to the month of may to the month of june to the month of march to the month of july great things will happen in those months in the name of jesus i speak it under the anointing it must come to pass i command it to happen for you may god call a shift and a change in your life i speak a shift i speak a change i speak a transformation in the name of jesus a shift a change a transformation in your life in the name of jesus i pronounce supernatural favor upon your life may you have favor on the marketplace favor coming in favor going out i decree it upon your life in the name of jesus hey it must happen for you open your mouth begin to pray in the holy ghost begin to pray in the holy ghost begin to pray in the holy ghost something must happen for you something must change for you something must shift for you something must break in the realm of the spirit i speak it over your life there must be a difference this year there must be a difference this year open your mouth and pray Watch this. Psalm 102. You can remain standing. Something is happening here. <laughs> God has changed my message. Something is happening. Psalm 102. I want to pronounce some things over some people. And they must come to pass. They must come to pass. They must come to pass. Psalm 102. Your life must exhibit God's glory. It must exhibit God's glory. It must exhibit God's glory. Psalm 102. If I were you today, I would be spiritually sensitive. Psalm 102 verse 13. The Bible says, you will arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yes, the set time has come. It's your Kairos moment. It's your Kairos moment. Put your Bible down. It's your Kairos moment. It is your Kairos moment. Lift up your hands to heaven. We, we need to activate that moment in the realm of the spirit. We need to activate that moment. Others have had their time. Others have had their moments. But this is your time. And this is your moment. Lift up your hands to heaven and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. As you are praying, you are, you are, you are pushing your moment. You are, it's, it's like you are a mother who's, who's pushing a baby out. You are pushing out your breakthrough. Open your mouth and just begin to push in the realm of the spirit. I need you to pray as loud as you can. 
I need you to lift up your voice. It's your time and it's your moment. It's your set time, your set time. That time was set already in heaven. But we are pushing things in the realm of the spirit. Come on, begin to push. Begin to push. Begin to push. I'm talking to somebody who's desperate for a breakthrough. I'm talking to somebody who's desperate for a change. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your set time. It's your set time. I need you to pray. I need you to pray. Your set time for a blessing. Your set time for a blessing. Your set time for promotion. Your set time for increase. Your set time for dominion. Your set time. Genesis 21. Please remain standing. Genesis 21. If you are carnal, you miss it today. If you are half spiritual, you'll be blessed. Just half, half spiritual. I'll, I'll use my anointing for the other half. You just need to be half spiritual today. Even almost spiritual. I'm operating under a dangerous anointing. If you connect with the grace, I'm telling you, you are going to another level. You are going to shift. You are going to, in the next 90 days, in the next 90 days, I told you, don't miss church in the next 90 days. Because people, under the sound of my voice, in the next 90 days, will buy houses for cash. Cash, cash money, cash. Cash, 90 days, you will buy a house cash. Listen to me. The amount of money in your account, notwithstanding, because when the grace comes, it will shift things in your account. Listen to what Paul said. It's not that I desire the gift, but I desire the credit that will abound to your account. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So when people po connected to Paul, something happened in their account. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm an agent of blessing in the next 90 days. I'm an agent of blessing. I'm, an, I'm a carrier of the blessing. You don't believe it. T -t Genesis 12, verse 1 to 3. Hans going to Abraham, I will bless you. And you shall be a blessing. Then he says, I will bless those who bless you. If you bless me in the next three months. <laughs> if you bless me, if you credit me, something will happen in your account. I, I, I give you 90 days to buy a house cash. I'm not playing this year. I'm not playing this year. Write about me in the newspapers. Put me on the news. I'm here to dispense blessing upon the lives of people. Hallelujah. Even if we shut this down, I'll go to my house. It will still be full there. I, I'll still be dispensing blessings there. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Because I have a mandate to bless people. Are you hearing me? This year, in the first 90 days, and look at our race, 90 days of blessing, you are going to hear testimonies on this pulpit. People will buy houses cash. Cash, not bond. Cash. What about Tambane Grace? 
I cannot could tamba ne grace. If I speak something, it must happen. And this year, it must happen quickly. I said it must happen quickly. There's an anointing for speed this year. Genesis 21 verse 1. And, and the Lord visited Sarah as he had said. Is that in your Bible? And the Lord did for Sarah as he had spoken. Why? For Sarah conceived and bore, uh, and bore Abraham a son in her old age. At the set time which the Lord had spoken to him. At the set time. I'm here to tell you that the set time is 90 days. From the 1st of February. 90 days. 90 days. 90 days. Close your Bible. Lift up your hands. I'm just dispensing blessings. Dispensing blessings. Dispensing blessings. Dispensing blessings. Dispensing blessings. Lift up your hands to heaven and connect to the blessing. There's a blessing that is upon this house. There's a blessing upon, that is upon this house. Truly we will live up to our name, Kingdom Prosperity Ministries. We are about to live up to our name. Lift up your hands to heaven. It's not just going to be a name, it's a billboard. It's going to be a true manifestation. Lift up your hands to heaven. And begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. I need you to pray because I want you to connect. What is happening here is spiritual. God is connecting people to new dimensions of blessing. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. As you are praying, in fact, in fact, mindfulness, I need you to pray because you are blessed. I, I need you to release something. Pray, church. I need you praying. Pray. Connect to the blessing. The Holy Spirit is here. The Holy Ghost is here. Connect to what God is doing in the ministry this, this time around. Connect, 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 connect. Connect, connect to what's happening. Connect to what's happening. It's a service to connect to the blessing. Connect. We worship you, Lord. Come on, church. I can't hear you. I need to hear you pray. We worship you, Lord. Connect. Connect. Isaiah 45. Isaiah 45. Mandebo Sita Rabahaya. There are people who are being promoted right now. 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 Promotion is in the house. In the next 90 days, people will look at you and ask, what has happened to you? Because what will happen to you will be visible. Hey, skin tone, you know, I could change your mind. No, Papa, Papa, no, Papa, no, Papa, no, Papa. Hey, the devil is a liar. Something must happen. Our God is alive. He's in heaven. And he's not a liar. If he said you are blessed, you are blessed. He swore to Abraham. And said, I swear I'm going to bless you. In blessing, I will bless you. In multiplying, I will multiply you. Something must happen in your life. This time around, something must happen in your life. Something must change in your life. Isaiah 45, look at this. This is what the Lord is promising. He says in verse number one, thus says the Lord to his anointed to Cyrus. You must cross out Cyrus, they write your name. Whose right hand I have held. 
to subdue nations before him, to loose the armor of kings. Many of you, you've looked at your business as just local, but I'm seeing an international anointing. I'm seeing an international grace. I'm seeing you doing things beyond the borders. I see it. I see it as clearly as I see you. I see people doing things beyond the borders. Great things, big things, great things. I want you to remove the limitation of your mind because God wants to spread out his prosperity. He wants to spread out his prosperity. He wants to spread out your dominion. You are spreading into new realms of glory. Many of you are still thinking too small. You need to change the way you are thinking because as a man thinketh, so is he. God wants to expand you and increase you. He wants to take you to new realms of glory. He says here to loose the armor of kings. So there is a new realm of favor that is going to happen with kings. Kings are people that are in authority. Kings are people that can decree and it is established. That can speak something and it becomes law. Speak something and it becomes law. When the president is about to speak something, it becomes law. It becomes law. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So you are going to have favor with that dimension of a person who can speak in your industry, who can speak in your workplace, who can speak in your domain, and things just happen. And when a king speaks, no one can argue. So there are men and women that are going to speak on your behalf and no one will argue. Connect, 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 connect. I said there are people who are going to speak and your life is going to change. I don't know what I'm not going to that Timupei. I was chef Ningi. Legislation here, you know, that is Mupei. So so the hearts of those kings are the ones that we are dealing with today. Are you hearing what I'm saying? We are losing the armor of kings. I decree kings will show you favor. I said kings will show you favor. I say kings will show you favor. People in authority must show you favor. Hey, you are one favor away from a change of lifestyle. And I speak that favor is now. I speak that favor is now. And so that, and the, to open double doors. So the doors that are going to open this season, get ready, we're going to pray. The doors that are going to open are not single doors. We're not talking about a small window opening in heaven. <laughs> we're talking about double doors here, double doors. Massive doors of opportunity. They are opening massive doors. Massive do I had a meeting the other day, a, a meeting that is going to change my life. If you think my skin is nice, you watch. The next 90 days, I've not even told my wife, Ch change of, in fact, the renovation of lifestyle. Renovation. Re renovation. Re to renovate is to pull down and build up. Yeah. Some people will not be able to focus because of what I'll be wearing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> if you will not connect to the 90 days, I'm, I'm connecting myself. I'm, I'm connecting myself. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Say double doors. Say double doors. Say double doors. Canada opens as you won't be on Bahufre, my small doors. We need to make double doors. So, in other words, there are big things that are about to enter into your house. God is opening double doors today in the realm of the spirit. I command those double doors to swing open for you. They must swing open for you. They must swing open for you. Today, particularly, I address doors that had been shut by the enemy. The enemy had shut them and bolted them. But today, I'm here with the bulldozer anointing. And I command those double doors to open upon your life. In the name of Jesus, hey, they must open. I don't care how long it has been. I command those double doors to open for you. In the name of Jesus. Somebody shout double doors, double doors, double doors. <laughs> He says, so that the gates will not be shut. So that the gates will not be shut. <laughs> Robert, do you know what he says in, in uh, um, John 15? And you shall bear, come here, let me give this to you. He says, you, you shall bear fruit. Runza, and your fruit shall remain. That is a scripture that says you'll never be poor again. 
Do you understand? In other words, whatever assets you build, they're not, going, they're not going to be lost. They're not going to be taken away. Whatever contract you seal, it is sealed forever until Jesus comes. There are people that must remain your customer until Jesus comes. Receive it today. Receive it today. Receive it today. <laughs> your fruit must remain must remain. I want you to begin to read Bible in that context. Your fruit must remain. You see, we're tired of this. Where does it say in the Bible? The path of the just shines more and more. May the God of Abraham increase you and multiply you. Abraham died rich in all things. Genesis 24 verse 1. The Bible does not say when, when, he, when he was finished, his money was also finished. No. He died rich in all things. Not some things. Not most things. All things. Amen. <laughs> It, it, it is going to come to pass. <laughs> you see, today is one of those services. If you are like uh, that person at the gate, I can't see so. Oh, because you did not believe. Yeah? Because you did not believe. Hello? You will not touch it. So if you are in there today, you, think, mm -hmm, you are signing up for poverty. If I were you, I would believe the comma, the full stop, the... You better believe it. Because what I'm speaking must come to pass. Today, let me tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm renovating this ministry. I'm changing things in the realm of the spirit. I'm rearranging the order here. I decree upon your life. Double doors must open for you. Double doors must open for you. This week from Monday, from tomorrow, you will see doors will open. You will see doors will open. Some of you after today's service, phone calls, phone calls are coming. I said phone calls are coming. Life-changing phone calls are coming. In the name of Jesus, they will find you on a Sunday. Verse 2. Hans, I, I will go before you. Look at me. Don't read the rest of it. Don't read the rest of it. There's a revelation there. Meeting out of the Mangwana, Jehovah to speak. I, 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 I. It's almost as though God is saying, I, 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 I will go before you. It's like he's talking to them now, which can say, no, 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 relax. I, in any. Shalombe. Kalandaina Gumbe, Suntasan Duno Gazira. I will go before you. Read it. He says, and make the crooked places straight. Whoever is not giving you your money is because of crookedness. Vachakupa contract yako ziri straight. Hey! Vachakupa contract yako ziri straight. Today I come against corruption in this land. In the name of Jesus, it has become the order of the day. I come against that corruption. People with genuine contracts, genuine deals, genuine things have not been getting resources, have not been getting opportunities. But I speak to you, Zimbabwe. I command a reversal of those things. In the name of Jesus, I decree every crooked place shall be made straight. <laughs> you will get it very straight. Very straight. She is straight. She is straight. She is straight. You shall get it. You shall get it. She is straight. And today I fire in the realm of the spirit. Anyone who would hinder your contract, they are hindering the word of God. So the word of God is coming like fire. The word of God is coming like a hammer. God said you must get that contract. Between God's word and you. Who is that? It means that that, that uh, government official are crooked. It, it, they want to become a hindrance to the word of God. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Moses, 
I'm telling you, even the president will pick up what I'm saying here. We come against corruption in this land. City of Harare, you are corrupt. You are corrupt and you know it. I decree in the name of Jesus. I speak it. I speak it from the pulpit. It must come to pass. Heaven must pick up what I'm saying. I come against corruption in city of Harare, in government departments. I come against it in the name of Jesus. I come against it. Corruption could reserve bank. I come against it. Corruption in every area. I come against it. In the name of Jesus. I'm a victim of corruption. I, 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 I piloted a project to refurbish the whole fleet of city of Harare. And I won the tender fair and square. I won it. And they refused to give me because they said, Madam Pichan, I lost millions of dollars because I refused to be corrupt. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So I'm standing here to, I know how painful corruption is. God is going before us and making every crooked place straight. You will read an alarming number of people because of corruption. You'll be shocked. You'll be, all this will happen in these 90 days of blessing. Because when 90 days of blessing come, there are others who are rising, but there are others who are falling. Because sometimes for you to rise, someone must fall. Hey, I said someone must fall. I said someone must fall. I remove Vashti today. And I replace it with Esther. I remove every Vashti in your life. In the name of Jesus. Hey, I will go before you. And make the crooked places straight. I'm sure you are seeing that scripture in the new light now. It says, I will break in pieces the gates of bronze. You see. Breaking the gate. Because I'm not going to go to the gate. I'm going to go to the gate. I'm going to go to the gate. But he says, I will break in pieces. My pieces are shabbat and zorin. Every gate that is standing in front of you is broken in pieces. I said in pieces. I said in pieces. I said in pieces. Every gate standing between you and your next level, I break it in pieces by the anointing. I break it in pieces by the anointing. I break it in pieces by the anointing. And cut the bars of iron. All these are satanic barricades trying to stop the children of God from entering their blessed place. But God is saying he's going to break every bar. Every bar. It is being broken. One minute, begin to pray in tongues as we break those bars. Just one minute. One minute, we're breaking those bars. It's a prophetic service. It's a prophetic service. We're breaking bars. We're breaking bars. We're breaking bars. We're breaking bars. Microphone. We're breaking bars. We are breaking bars. We are breaking bars. We are breaking bars. We are breaking bars. Come on, break those bars. These are the things that are frustrating you. Break those bars. We break every bar. 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 Cut those bars of iron. We break every bar this morning. We break every bar of limitation. Every bar stopping you from entering is being broken. Break the bar of iron. We break every bar. We break every bar. Break it. Come on. Open your mouth. He says, I will give you the treasures of darkness. I will give you the treasures of darkness. 
there is wealth that is in the kingdom of darkness. Don't read the rest of it. This is where you get lost. I will give you treasures of darkness. There are treasures in the kingdom of darkness. And they can only come to us when we begin to become aggressive in the realm of the spirit. I want to show you something. Please be seated. I want to show you something. We're going to pray. Go to Matthew 12, quickly. I want to show you this. We're doing a cutting edge thing here. Teaching, preaching, proclaiming some things upon your life. If you take what I say seriously, your life will change. If you are serious these next three months, <laughs> nothing shall be impossible to you. Nothing. See, overwhelmed. Witches will be overwhelmed by your success. <laughs> they will be overwhelmed. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Now, the reason why we are getting so aggressive is because God showed me something. <clears throat> For us to prosper, we need power. We need power. I, sh I shared some of this on Tuesday, but I feel I need to repeat this because you need to get it. We need power. Say power. So Deuteronomy 8 verse 18 says, The Lord your God gives you power to get, to get, to get wealth. To get wealth. Say to get wealth. To get wealth means you have to get it from somewhere where it is. That wealth is in the hands of Satan. So that's why the Bible here talks about treasures of darkness. Are you getting what I'm saying? So you will never get it from him because Satan operates in the realm of violence. He operates in the realm of violence. So if, if you are not uh, spiritually violent, so to speak, you won't get it. So you need to be aggressive spiritually. Tell your neighbor you are too soft for what we are talking about. You are too soft. Yeah, look at this. Uh, Matthew chapter number 12 says in verse 29, and oh, how can one enter a strong man's house? Huh? Who's what? And plunder his goods unless he first binds the strong man and then he will plunder his goods. Who's better? So, the violent are the ones who take it by force. When someone has a lot of wealth, they have a lot of reinforcements around them. They fortify their house. They extend the jurao upwards. On top of the jurao, they put a razor wire. Inside the razor wire, they put electric fence to work with the razor wire. So when you, when you try and get there, you will not only be electrocuted, but while you are being electrocuted, you are being cut by the razor wire. That is if you get there. Huh? That shows you that mbai momo mune of value. Are you getting what I'm saying? So for us to, to, to possess or dispossess, say dispossess, say dispossess. For us to dispossess the enemy, we have to have a certain realm of aggression. Aggression. Say spiritually aggressive. Say spiritually aggressive. So only the ones that are spiritually aggressive are the ones that will, will, will possess in this season. Hallelujah. So I don't want you to stop fasting and praying. Why? Because we need to dispossess the enemy. Of the things that he has stolen from us. Let me emphasize my, my, my point. Go to Luke 11. Go to Luke 11. I want to show you the scripture. And I'll be dealing with some of these things on Tuesday morning. So you better come. Yeah. 
your relatives that are into witchcraft. Because I'm not joking, I'm saying that. It's not about form. It's about the grace. Hallelujah. It is grace that makes great. Matthew 11, verse, uh, sorry, Luke 11, verse 21 to 22. Are you ready? Are you ready? And when a strong man, fully armed, guards his own palace, his goods are in peace. Huh? But when a stronger than he comes upon him huh? and overcomes him, he takes from him all his armor which he trusted and divides his spoils. So in this season, look at me, in this season, we are, we, we, we are, we are, we are coming upon the devil. <laughs> I'm not saying, hey, Satan, please, you know, it would be nice for you to go. No, we are coming upon him. Hello? I don't know, Robo, I know. They jumped me. They jumped me. <laughs> this season, we are going to jump on the devil. We are going to jump him this season. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Can you imagine? You know, you don't come there with the protocol. You don't come there and say, no, you know, you need to understand these things, you know. No, you need to jump that person. There are people who you know physically. This person, you need to deal with them in the spirit realm. And say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I command their path to be made slippery. <laughs> it's in your Bible. Go and read Psalm 35. And the angel of the Lord pursue them. Hey, I'm a Christian. Oh, you know, some Christian dream soldier. And some Christian dream soldier. I mean the army of the living God. I'm not a spiritual civilian. I'm a soldier. Hallelujah. Yeah, my soldier. Don't worry. You will kill your soul. Yeah, can I love him, soldier? Don't worry. JP. Hey, this, ma this time I want my things. <laughs> that this time I want my stuff. This time I want my stuff. I want my stuff. This time I'm going to come upon the devil. Satan Hans, when the enemy comes in like a flood, the enemy, I am coming like a flood. Even my tongues are changing. <laughs> hey, this time is a time of fire. I said it's a time of fire. We are coming against the enemy. We are coming against the enemy. We are coming against the enemy. Every enemy to your success. We are coming against him today. We are coming against him today. We will prove that we are the stronger men. We are taking hidden riches. Come on, open your mouth and begin to take hidden riches. Begin to take hidden riches. You need to be aggressive to take it. Take it by force. 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 It by force. It's your 90 days of blessing. Take it by force. Take that contract. Take that money. Take that house. Take that promotion. Take that dominion. Take that marriage. Take it by force. Come on, I want to see spiritual aggression. Become the stronger man. Become the stronger man. I'm going to grow as a soft. Take it by force. 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 
take it by force. Your new level is here. Take it by force. Take it by force. Take it by force. Torah, 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 Torah. Torah. Lift up your right hand. He says here in verse 3, I will give you the treasures of darkness. And, and means over and above that, over and above that, the hidden riches of secret places. Lift up your right hand. Today, in the realm of the spirit, I unlock, because there, there are monies that are being made in secret. There are deals that are being hidden away from the children of God. I speak in the realm of the spirit. And I command the secrets to be revealed. 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 To be revealed. As you are praying for the next two minutes, things are going to be un un unlocked to you. They are going to be revealed to you. When people are making money secretly and sharing money secretly, where it, you are supposed to have your portion there. Your portion is there in the land. Open your mouth and begin to pray. It's a very important prayer. Because God is unlocking some things that have been hidden. Some hidden things. Some hidden things. Some hidden things are being unlocked. There's an unlocking of some hidden things. 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 I just want to bless somebody today. Some hidden things are being unlocked. New ideas, new ideas, new ideas are released to you. New ideas are released to you. I command you in the place of work. Be promoted quickly. Be promoted quickly. Be promoted quickly. Rise quickly in that place. Rise quickly in that place. Something is happening, church. Something is happening. Something is happening. Something is happening. You are rising quickly. You are rising quickly. You are seeing new opportunities. You are seeing new opportunities. We thank you. We thank you. God is opening your eyes. He is opening your eyes to new opportunities. Take your hands, put them on your head. Yes, Lord. You are one idea away from a million dollars. I want God to begin to unlock every channel in your mind. I become here. Every channel in your mind. The spirit of wisdom. The spirit of wisdom. My phone is coming here. Come here. Just come stand here. The spirit of wisdom. Lift up both your hands. The spirit of wisdom is about to come upon your life. There are certain hidden things. There are certain hidden things that God is going to begin to show you. There are hidden things. Come here. 
Rabakade Bositara Bahaya. Mabodi Bahande Boshitara Bahaya. My sister, come here. Rabakade Bosotoda Bukodi Bahada Bahaya. Where's your wife, man? Rebeke Sete Boshi Bandi and Roboko Sitara Bahaya. Masa Bade Bosoto Roboko di Bashi and Rabahaya. Ribaka Dabasi de Rebokoshia. Something is happening to your mind. It's happening to your mind. I plead the blood of Jesus upon your mind. 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 God will speak to you even in the night seasons. Even as you sleep, as you rest. You will begin to unravel some things in your mind. You will begin to open up some things in your mind. He will begin to show you some things even while you are sleeping. He will show you. He will show you great things in your mind. Ideas. Supernatural ideas. Ideas. Rave, come here. Ideas that will change the nation. Ideas that will bring transformation in this nation. Ideas. Supernatural ideas. Rare businesses. My God, come here. Rare business ideas. Rare business ideas. Rare business ideas. Rare business ideas. Kathy, come back here. Rare, rare, very rare business ideas. Very, very rare. They are coming. 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 The anointing of the Holy Spirit is here. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is here. He is the spirit of wisdom. He is the spirit of wisdom. Mighty Fuma, come here. He is the spirit of wisdom. The spirit of wisdom. Lift up. Just put, put, keep your hands on your head and close your eyes. Just pray in the Holy Ghost very softly, everyone across this room. Just one idea away from transformation. One idea. One idea. One idea. Young lady with a red top here. I don't know who you are, but come here. Come here. One idea. One idea. Stand up. One idea. Jesse, come here, wherever you are. I can't see you. Come here. One idea. One idea. Something is happening in your mind. Everywhere where the enemy had blocked your mind, he had blocked the eyes of your mind, God is opening up your mind. Both hands on your head, come on. There's a transference of wisdom from heaven that is happening to you. Connect to what God is doing. Don't miss out on what God is doing. Don't miss out on what God is doing. Don't miss out on what God is doing. He is going to visit you and speak to you and show Show you, show you, show you things you have never seen before. Things you have never touched before. Things you have never handled before. He's going to show you. Come on, just pray softly in the Holy Ghost. Pray softly in the Holy Ghost. Ideas that will make you better than your enemies. Better than your teachers. Better, 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 better. 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 Not under, come here. Better. 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 An anointing to be better. An anointing to be better. 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 By far. Better. Mama Sundo, come here. Better. 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 An anointing to be better. Mandebo Sitara Bahaya. Lebroko Soto Botsi Bahaya. 
Masanda bandi boshinda na bahaya. Thank you, Jesus. Come. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Paul said, I have the mind of Christ. The mind of Christ is coming upon you. The very mind of Christ. The 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 mind of Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The Holy Spirit is doing something here. He's doing something here. This was not my message, but there's something that the Holy Spirit is doing. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. You are welcome. He's doing a work in your mind. He's doing a work in your mind. He's removing every demonic thought in your mind and re replacing it with thoughts that come from God. You are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. He's working a new work in you. 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 Come, my sister, come. I'm talking to you, come. He's working a new work in you. He's working a new work in you. He's working a new work in you. This church is full of people with witty inventions. That the enemy had locked. I'm unlocking them right now. Please just tarry with me a little bit. I'm unlocking your mind in the realm of the spirit. Something is happening. Something is happening. Something is happening. Something is happening. You are receiving new deposits in your mind. New deposits. Blessing, come here. New deposits. New deposits. New deposits in your mind. New deposits. New deposits in your mind. Yes, God is doing something new. God is doing something new. God is doing something new. God, yeah, both of you come. God is doing something new in your life. Something new. Something new in your mind. Lift up hands. Something new in your mind. You are awesome in this place. Mighty God. A new idea has been released. You are awesome in this place. Abba Father. You are worthy of all praise. Microphone, please. To you our lives we raise. You are awesome in this place. Mighty God. Every witchcraft in your mind is being removed. Come on. You are awesome in this place. Mighty God. You are awesome in this place. Abba Father. You are worthy. Abba Father, 
You are worthy of all praise. To you our lives we raise. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, mighty You are awesome in this place, Abba Father. You are worthy of all praise. To you our lives we raise. You are awesome in this place. Two more times. Mighty God. Excel. You must 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 excel. Nani so come here. You must excel. You must excel. You must excel. You must excel. No more disappointments. I'm speaking to everyone across the room. No more disappointments. Yes, Jehovah. Yes, Jehovah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Father, we receive what you have done here today. We receive it. We receive it. We receive it. We receive it. We receive it as done. We receive it as a deposit into our lives, into our spirits. We receive it. We know that the grass withers and the flower fades, but your word is eternal. Breaking the chains, unlocking your destiny.